The Nintendo Switch is a fantastic platform for so many different reasons, and I do think that one of those reasons is because of how good Nintendo does with their local co-op games. I feel every platform kind of excels at their own thing, and one thing Nintendo has always done really well is with their local co-op, and whether you're stuck at home and you want to play a game with your family, child, friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whomever, there is a lot of choice on the Nintendo Switch. Now, when you have that much choice though, it is often hard to find exactly what you're looking for. Well, that's why I'm here today, to help you find not just a good local cooperative game to play, but a great one. So I compiled a list of the top 20 best local cooperative games to play right now, as of 2020, on the Nintendo Switch. Now, do remember that this list is only my opinion, and yours may be completely different than mine. If that is the case, let me know some of your favorites in the comments below. That way we can all discover some new great games together. After all, that is why I do these videos in the first place. But with that said, let's get right into the list. At number 21, I have a meticulous little puzzle game by the name of Death Squared. This game is at its absolute best when played in co-op. And by working together to solve these mind-bending puzzles, you're really going to have to work together as a team. Now, based off of the art style, you may not think much of it, but as the name implies, there is going to be a lot of death in this game. By no means is this an easy puzzle game, and the difficulty really ramps up near the end, though I do think this is an added bonus because, as they say, two minds are better than one, and not only does it make you feel smart, but it helps you become a team player with plenty of laughs along the way. Enter the Gungeon is already a nice little shoot 'em up game that you can go out and play by yourself, and many people may even consider it one of the best independent games for the Nintendo Switch. Well, it's also one of the best co-op games as you shoot your way through pure chaos together. Taking on hordes of enemies by yourself may at times get a little bit boring, but when you have a partner next to you, it suddenly becomes a lot more engrossing. So if you enjoy shoot 'em up style games, Enter the Gungeon may be the route to go. I've always loved the Rayman franchise, and I feel they're often a bit overlooked. I mean, Rayman has fantastic platforming mechanics, the art style is beautiful, the level design is among the best of its genre, it has a ton of charm, and come on, the music additions to the levels are just outstanding. And that's the thing, it also has cooperative gameplay. You can enjoy running through all these top-notch levels and collect lums with a friend. It also has a few extra additions, like the soccer volleyball-like thing, for a little fun competition. But I truly do think Rayman Legends is a must-have for any platforming fan, and it's actually one of the best games available on the Switch right now. Turn-based strategy games are not really known for cooperative gameplay, but surprisingly, Wargroove does a really good job with this, and you can do this both locally or even online. Yes, you can go online with a friend and duke it out against other people. Of course, we are focusing on local co-op though, and you can also take this offline, and either battle against AI opponents, or if you have four people to play, you can do a 2v2. Of course, if you only have three people though, you can still do that as well and do a 2 versus one and this is just a good RPG overall, and a lot of fun to play with friends, both online and offline. There are just certain games meant for cooperative gameplay, and Lovers in Dangerous Space Time is one of those games. The entire game is about coordinating with somebody to steer your spaceship, avoid obstacles, and keep from dying from baddies. You really need to know how to communicate in this game, and work well together because based off of those things will absolutely determine your success or failure. Maybe each person should have their own roles in what they do, but do make sure whoever you play with, you can work well together because this one will really put you to the test. As I said at the beginning of this video, Nintendo really does excel when it comes to co-op games, and Kirby Star's Allies is a perfect example of this supporting up to four players. This is a pretty relaxing platforming game, and maybe a little too easy for some people, but it is an absolute joy to play. 
Of course, our favorite little gumball-like character, Kirby, is in another 2D adventure with strong platforming mechanics, and if you want to play co-op with a friend or family member, they can take control of one of Kirby's friends. Each friend has their own unique abilities and powers, which can make for an endlessly fun experience experimenting with different abilities. And because it's relaxing nature, it should be a stress-free game. Snipperclips was one of the first Nintendo Switch games available, but even three years later, it still stands out to me in the Switch library. In fact, it's at its best when played together. It is another puzzle game, though it is very different than other games within the genre. The puzzles are so varied, and I love the personality that they have injected into this game. So basically, you're going to be given a goal at the beginning of each level, and each person will have their own unique paper character. They then must cut each other to a shape, and by rotating their body and working together, they should be able to accomplish the goal. It's both funny and challenges your brain at the same time. There are even some competitive multiplayer components in Snipper Clips, and this is one for the entire family to enjoy, regardless of age. Fighting games have always been really big as competitive local multiplayer games, and in fact, that is the best way to play them. There is something about them that really draws out the most competitive people, and you only have yourself to rely on. However, with ARMS, co-op became a bit of a staple because you can actually do two versus two battles. There are a few different game modes, but punching around with your Joy-Cons as a team is a lot of fun and something I would highly recommend. Animal Crossing New Horizons has been out of hand here recently. It almost seems like everybody is playing this game, but you can also play Animal Crossing with a friend. It's a great way to escape to paradise and just chill out. Now, the way co-op in this game works though, is you will have a leader, and the leader will have much more control over the game, but it can still be enjoyed exploring paradise together. You can catch bugs, go fishing, or just try to think of ideas and how to expand your community. Now, you can switch leaders at any time if you have multiple accounts with Animal Crossing on one device, as you can share the account together. It's a little confusing at first, but once you do, it's a lot of fun to play together. Resident Evil Revelations 2 is an often overlooked game on the Nintendo Switch, especially its cooperative component. The entire story can actually be played in co-op, which is already worth noting, but that's not all because it does have a raid mode that's a lot of fun as well. This raid mode has a lot of action, short-based missions with 15 playable characters that all have their own unique abilities. You can change your loadouts and it has over 200 missions. This is a really good local co-op game, whether for the story or raid mode, and if you like Resident Evil, here is the game for you. Luigi's Mansion 3 has a really interesting and unique cooperative gameplay experience. You may not be able to play co-op right away, but as you traverse the haunted hotel-like mansion, you eventually get an ability to use Gooigi, a jello like Luigi. The thing is, Gooigi can be controlled by a second player, and Gooigi does have his own unique abilities. These abilities will help you solve new puzzles, as Gooigi can cross death spikes and go between bars and vents. This allows access to new locations that Luigi previously could not reach, though he does have less health than Luigi and cannot walk over water without melting. You must work together to solve puzzles, and because Luigi's Mansion is just such a fun game, especially its boss encounters, it makes for a fun and spooky experience. Diablo 3 is pretty well known for having a great multiplayer experience, and this translates very well into local co-op. Diablo 3 is one of the most in-depth RPGs on the market, and right out of the gate, you and your cooperative buddies can all choose their own class of character, giving each unique abilities. Beyond that, because of the way Diablo works, you will be rewarded with endless loot as you explore dungeons and take on several monstrosities, and then you can build out your character in how you want. There are just so many possibilities with Diablo 3, which gives this game a lot of replay value. 
The blue dude with the tude makes this list, Sonic the Hedgehog, and I have two games here for you. First up we have Team Sonic Racing which is in my opinion one of the best kart racing games I've played in years, and there is a heavy emphasis on working as a team. You aren't just racing against everybody else, but you're also trying to help your team out, as you are scored together. And there are several strategies in order to do this, whether by sharing items or using your partner's slipstreams which gives you a big boost in speed. Also for a more traditional Sonic game, you can go with Sonic Mania instead, which is a return to the old 90s Sonic games. You can play this both competitively with Sonic and friends such as Knuckles and Tails, or you can even play together as a team. Either way, you can't go wrong with either game here, they're great games and, well, you gotta go fast. Overcooked is yet another game that was strictly built with cooperative gameplay in mind, and it really shows. This is an excellent cooperative game, and you would never know that cooking could be so much fun until you play Overcooked 2. You must work together by cooking food, serving that food, and cleaning it all up. And you may think that doesn't sound fun at all, but when you add the very exotic and chaotic kitchens, Overcooked becomes a blast to play. Ever since I played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid, I always knew beat-em-up games are great when it comes to playing at home with friends or family. Well, if you're like me and you like those type of games, River City Girls is a great route to take. It's a really wacky game and never really takes itself too serious, and right out of the gate you will have two different characters to play as, each having their own playstyle. They can gain new abilities, and I just adore the art style and combat in this game. It looks excellent, and a lot of people seem to not know about this game, but you absolutely should because it is an excellent game. Right away, the first thing that anybody and everybody notices about Cuphead is its gorgeous art style that mimics old school cartoons. The animations are spot on, and it looks extraordinary when seen in motion. It's not just a good looking game though because it's also a lot of fun to play, especially with a friend because Cuphead does have a friend, Mugman. You two then can play together in this difficult run and gun platformer. And yes, I did say difficult because do not be surprised when you find that Cuphead is very challenging and this is why teamwork will be absolutely essential to your way to victory. Over the last generation, Rocket League has become an absolute sensation, and it really is no surprise to see why. Rocket League is one of the most fun games I've ever played personally, and when you first look at it, you probably think, well, you're just a car chasing a ball around. And sure, it seems odd at first, but soccer or football, depending on where you're located, mixed in with cars is frankly a blast to play and there is a high skill ceiling with this game and how you can fly around with your cars if you know how to boost correctly. It's also a lot of fun to play with friends. You can either do this in split screen offline or even online, either of which is a lot of fun and no matter what your age is, you can enjoy this game. Hey, I would even go out on a limb and say this was the best sports game of the entire generation. Castle Crashers is yet another great beat em up style game, though this is a little bit of an older game. It did originally release as an Xbox Live arcade game back in 2008, but because of its timeless art style and phenomenal gameplay, it's still among the best of its genre. You and your friends can choose from an assortment of different knights. There is blue, pink, red, orange, green, and some extras in there as well, each with their own unique abilities. Red shoots lightning, blue is ice, orange is fire, and yeah, you get the point. But this game is insanely fun and translates very well onto the Nintendo Switch. Minecraft has been one of the most popular games of the last decade for good reason. Sure, it does look just like virtual Legos, but there is a lot more to it than just that. Practically anybody can jump into and enjoy Minecraft and let their creativity take control. There is a ton of options in how you want to play, and whether you want to just create things and be artistic, well, you can absolutely do that. Or maybe you and your friends want to play in survival mode. 
hunt and gather for materials as zombies and other creatures try to kill you. Minecraft is just a great game all the way through and something the whole family can enjoy. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is one of gaming's most remarkable achievements. Somehow Nintendo has managed to create a game with some of the most famous gaming icons of all time. And while Smash Bros. originally just started as only Nintendo characters, over the years they have somehow managed to get characters such as Cloud from Final Fantasy, you have Banjo-Kazooie, Mega Man, Pac-Man, Ryu from Street Fighter, and the list just goes on and on. It also helps that this game is a ton of fun and can be enjoyed no matter what your skill level is. It's also incredibly unique in its fighting mechanics as you try to knock opponents out of the arena. You can play it both competitively with your friends online or offline as well as cooperatively. There is a ton of game modes and options available and truly Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the entire package. Without a doubt, I had to put Mario as number one, though the problem was, what Mario game deserves the number one spot? You have Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which is great for 2D platforming fans, and it's just pure chaos to play together. There's also Mario Kart 8, which is arguably the best kart racing game to ever be made. You also have Super Mario Maker 2 for more creative people, and then you have Super Mario Odyssey for 3D platforming fans. All of these games are a lot of fun to play in co-op, and you can't go wrong with any of these games. As I said before, Nintendo does a phenomenal job when it comes to good local co-op games, and Mario is the perfect example. Anyways though, that's it for this video, but if I forgot to mention any of your favorite games, make sure to let me know in the comments below. As always though, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the bell notification and subscribe button for more content just like this. Peace out.